Hello, dear friends. Welcome to the channel. My name is Chris. If this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video and my other content. And if you do, please do those YouTube -y things like like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. It would be very much appreciated. And to all my returning friends and dear True Blues out there, thank you for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It's everything to me. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So, I have an unboxing for you today of one item from uh, my dear, dear friend Cindy from Diamond Painting Fanatics. This is a sneaky peek of one of the canvases from one of her artists. Now, I will say, first off, of course, uh, there this will be linked below or her site will be linked down below in the description box, as well as any other pertinent information um, like social medias, discount codes, and there is a discount code for her shop um, down below as well. So if you want to order from Diamond Penny Fanatics and you're looking to save a little money, just use the code that I provided. I get nothing from it. It's fine. Uh, it's just to help you all out and uh, to help my friends Cindy out, make some sales. Come on. She has some great stuff. So as I said, this is a sneaky peek from her. Now, I probably either, because I got this and I'm filming this before I spoke to her so I don't have all the information um that I need for the video let's say maybe um so there might be something included either before or after the video um that it'll tell you more stuff so I'm just saying that now um just in case uh I might have more information for you of course then on Amazon uh, then again I might not need any more information who knows I like to wing it right so let's just get into it um I opened this already because it, this is how it comes so it comes in the bag and it comes in the uh bubble kind of mailer boot thing that they call it uh I don't know if you order more than one if this comes like that there's just one in here um so I did open the end up to make it easier to pull off. It does protect the painting perfectly perfectly well this way. Um, you know, I don't have really an issue with it. As long as everything inside is fine, and it really is. Uh, I've never had a problem with this. And it also comes uh, taped down so the, uh, and it cut the right place. Uh -huh. the protective area okay so it comes there we have so we have our canvas we have our drills and our toolkit and here's the our little uh, lounge pool <laughs> okay so I was gonna show you the picture so our toolkit simple toolkit um, a little pair of uh, uh, tweezers the metal tweezers uh, a tray a placer or multi-placer like a six or seven placer um i could tell these are not the stronger ones so these kind of aren't good strong good multi-placers but you know whatever uh no big deal i have we have plenty of them we're hanging around right then a standard pen a hand grip and the wax so standard toolkit right there our canvas is right here it comes um, with a little, uh, these little elastic bands. They don't hurt the canvas at all. It just helps keep them in place. And it does come around a roller to keep everything, again, to keep it in place. Again, it's fine. It's not like, um, the old kind of ways because this is a soft back canvas. So it doesn't matter that it was on the roller. It's not, um... What you call the canvas is not harmed by that or un impossible to get flat. See, look at it. it's flat already. All you gotta do, take it out and put your hands across it. The back, the backing is incredibly soft. I do have to say, um, this is very cottony, uh, soft, lovely, lovely, lovely back. Um, here's our little roller thing and we have our sticker sheet so might as well i will show you what we have here so we do have a sticker sheet the whole thing is a sticker now these are not cut so you have to cut them out yourself which is fine by me 
because uh, I kind of, even though it might take longer, I honestly kind of prefer this because when they're pre-cut already, um, I find sometimes the sheet kind of can get mangled up a little bit somehow and some of the stickers can tear off or, or if you, again, store this, um, they could just peel up. So I rather have a whole big sheet like this and have to cut them myself. Because I can't work out of bags, so I need to use the uh, containers. And if you have a, you have a sticker, why not use the one they provide instead of making your own? So here we have it. Um, like I said, I don't know the artist because it's not written on here, um, which is kind of the one of the piece of information I wanted to give you. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, but I had a call coming in. Um, so back to this i was talking about the sticker and the the image and the so i don't have the artist um i might have that at the end of the video or at the beginning who knows you might have heard it already um but it's called blue butterflies it's a 50 by 70 round um and it's beautiful and there are 50 colors and here is the sticker sheet up close so we have uh, one through eight, and then we have lots of letters, and then a whole bunch of symbols. So good way to do it, how I like it. Alphanumeric, and then symbols. Um, I'm just looking to see. Real quick. There are some weird looking symbols, um, so, but I think they all should be legible. Um, I was looking, what I was doing is I was looking for similar type symbols, seeing if I would get confused by anything or anybody would, but I think it should be all okay. And of course, this is the artwork. Beautiful girl with the beautiful blue butterflies and this gorgeous background. So, we also have our drills here and a sticker sheet. Now, this does come with a bees because I, it doesn't say it on here though. Hmm. Let's look at this because they, there's also this inventory sheet, which is different. Oh, maybe they give you, she gives you both. I'd have to look, I'd have to look at this. Because on the sticker sheet, it has 50, and here are 50 plus the four ABs at the bottom. So let's look, 996, 996. Oh, that's interesting. So there might be 996 regular drills and then 996 AB, 745. No 745 in the regular. But this says here, hmm. Chris is a little confused. 718. No 718 here. How could there be 50 colors plus four B's if that's what you hear? I'm a little confused. I'll have to look this over afterwards, I, after I show all this, and um, maybe I'm just m messing things up in my head. So. These are all the beautiful colors. I'm going to take out the ABs. Um, but we have tons of purples down here. Then we go into some blue and, um, again, a little more purple. And then to corals and pinks. And then more into blues and greens. And more in the blues down there. So very purple, very blue canvas. Love it, love it, love it. So here's one. Here's two. Three. 
four. There you are. Nope, not you, you. Okay. So we have this bag of blue. Very pretty. Nice coating on the AB. This bag of lilac purple. Again, very nice. Nice amount. This very pretty yellow. It looks like an antique kind of yellow. Not like a sun yellow, but like um, a silky kind of yellow. And this beautiful like raspberry color. So, with all that, let's show you the actual canvas, right guys? Here she is. Um, I will turn her this way. Okay, well, I, that answered the other question. Uh, who the artist is. It, it, the artist is Finara. Because it's right down here. So that's good for you to know. I actually, what I do like about this too is that there's not a lot of superfluous border. Um, there's no need to have a ton of big border on these. Um, I don't care either way, honestly, whether it's a lot or a little, but just, just for the sake of space and doing it and everything, I don't need a gigantic border on these. I, I don't know why every, not everybody, but I don't know why there's lots of huge, like two inch borders on some of these. I don't know. Eh, I think thinner better. Um, then you have diamondpaintingfanatics.com down here. Again, simple, very, very clear, clearly fonted. I like that. And up top here, we have AB Blue Butterflies 50 by 70. And the one last thing is Diamond Painting Fanatics, her logo up here, which I'm not showing you, right there. Uh, both sides have a color list. Both sides have the thumbnail going down here. One is on top and the other one's on the bottom. Yep. And so here she is. Probably. Again, glare. Um, there are guide circles on here. They're not very light, but they're not very thick either. I won't know until I'm working on it how I feel about them. Um, with, you know, the, the black kind of guide circles. They don't look like they're big, which is a good, because sometimes when you look at canvases, you could tell that the circle is as big as the whole drill. If this, these kind of look like they're a little smaller, which is good because that means it'll cover it completely. Um, so I like that. And per usual, I don't have an issue seeing anything on here. Again, everybody's eyesight is different. Every How everybody sees things is different. Um, again, just a beautiful canvas with, I, you know, kind of a, what I would call, um, I don't know what, how do you call it, uh, out of focus sort of background. So you have like lights. I kind of think of it, this is like almost, it's not lightning bugs, but you know, um, you know, so, sort of that twinkly, twinkly sort of uh, background with all these yellows. And then you have these blue butterflies surrounding her and a beautiful girl, her face. And on this side, more butterflies. So I'm going to bring you closer down so you can see better. Um, nice stick, very nice stick. The paper, the, how are you calling it paper? The plastic is a thinner, um, which it was thicker, but I don't think it'll tear like some of them tear. It doesn't feel that thin where it'll tear easy. Um, let's look for the ABs before I bring you down closer to get a better look. So these raspberry ABs, um, are the letter K. So we have a few in here on her neck, a few over here in her hair, um, in the kind of the bottom of her hair, a couple there, a couple here in her hair as well. Not there, no. A couple over here on the side, a couple here, here. So a couple of darker surrounding her, a couple in her lips. A couple in her face over here, which I don't know if I'll put them there. 
as well as some over here, you know, and over here. You know, there's a few scattered in there. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It can be okay just to put a few there so you get like a kind of like a sparkly shine to, you know, again, how you might catch somebody like, um, who has a little sparkle to their face or somebody has like some sort of makeup on, you know, you'll see a little twinkle. Um, that's kind of how these are placed here. Uh, they're not like in a large swath or they're not like in a bunch or three or four of them, but just like maybe one here, one here, one here. So it might look okay. Now this, the lilac one is seven, the symbol seven. So we have them all, in, these are the background color. So we have a bunch of them here, here, here. And we have some over here. Oops, you can't see it. Down here as well. And in here. So where you see some purple areas, that's where you'll see them scattered around there. Uh, again, the silky kind of yellow silky uh, color. Um, and that's the Q. Again, that'll be in these orbs kind of thing. You see some in here, some in here, here, here. A few over here, the side of her face, um, again by the background color. A couple there, here, here. So the, the yellow places, um, not all the yellow places, but they'll be just very nicely sprinkled in there. And finally our blue, which is the percent sign. Uh, there's a few here sprinkled in here. Um, Mostly in the butterflies. You'll see a lot of them in the butterflies. A lot of the butterfly. Not the entire butterfly, of course, but a lot of it is done in it. Like this one, the top isn't in this butterfly. There's no none on the top, but on the bottom, that's a lot of it. Mostly AB, the blue ABs. Um, but very, very pretty. Her, her face is very pretty. You know, you could clearly out define the eyebrows, the eyes, even up close, it looks really nice. Um, and in the camera, it, it's, she's very beautiful. So that's a good sign when this looks as good as it does up close. And it looks even, of course, better in the camera, but. Take a little tour. Sorry about this constant moving. <laughs> okay. So I really think that's kind of a good enough shot of closing up, close up you need. But yes, this is really, really a beautiful picture. There's a couple more that I desperate, desperately want from uh, Cindy. Uh, I just uh, can't afford it, but I desperately want them. So I'm very grateful that she allowed me to do this little sneaky peek of hers uh, for her to show you off the beautiful canvas um, of these beautiful canvas called Blue Butterflies. And this girl, as you know, I love portraits and she is a stunner. Love, love, love it. It'll turn out fantastically. And like I said, besides the beautiful Blue Butterflies, I really, really do love these kind of um, out of focus twinkly background that was put that the artist made and uh again the black background that the black the blue background here and is that why is that black what color is that for her hair that's 823 is her hair most of her hair at least um 
Speaking of, that's a lot of color blocking. Um, in certain places, generally where the details are in her face, that's more uh, confetti-ish. But and the, and the, and the, the areas down here is confetti-ish. But I don't think it's, you know, horrible, disrespectful, as they say, confetti. Um, it's it's uh, manageable. So really, really beautiful. Uh, thank you, Cindy, so much. I hope you all enjoyed seeing this beautiful canvas. Um, please check Cindy out. Again, her shop will be linked below. My discount code will be linked below as well. Um, so pick yourself up something, see how you like her, her, uh, items. She also has YouTube. I'll link that below as well. Um, where she does, you know, she does lots of long lives and she, you know, does giveaways and sneak peeks, um, of stuff coming up. And, uh, it's very, very pretty and beautiful. And thank you so much. I will say stay tuned for to the end, I'll add a short clip on any other information that I have to give you um, after this. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm back for possibly part one of the return. Um, I did figure out what was going on with the symbols and the sheets and everything. Okay, so this lists them all in order, and it just does not put the AB on it. For instance, this Q... That is an AB, but they don't list it as an AB on the sticker sheet. Whereas on the inventory sheet, they moved it down to the bottom. So 7, 16, 18, and 33 are the ABs, and they took them from the list up here and put them in the bottom for some reason. And there's 18, the Q, 18, the Q, and as well as the other three symbols. So mystery solved with that I was worried that there might be something wrong with the drills or counting them. Um, I don't have a problem with that. That just kind of, I will say, it slightly worries me because that can be confusing um, to the people doing it maybe, uh, but they might be so used to it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but so everything's okay. No problems with that at all. Just want to let you all know.